Okay, here's the thing. This is like our third week in quarantine. So even the most mundane stories of me breaking dishes, like this is our universe. This is the world that we're in. And every plate is like losing a friend. I've broken two Chemexes actually. The first Chemex I broke. This was the <laughs> point of this. If you are with a partner, if you're married, if you're in a long-term relationship or were at any point, chances are you have heard this advice. Don't try to change them. Let them be who they are. For the most part, I agree. I love David. I love my husband for who he is. That's why I married him. But there are some things that need to change. David has broken, I don't know how many dishes. I could make a little graveyard, a graveyard of all of the broken dreams from our marriage. Just kidding, just the broken plates. This like started in the first week of our marriage. We've been married two and a half years and it is still my gripe, my only gripe, but it's a big one. What he says is things are meant to be used. They're meant to be broken. That's a sign that you're really using it. I don't agree, I don't agree. I wanna make a list actually of the amount of times this has come up, AKA, how many dishes has David actually broken? I have a list of seven things, and I think he could add to that list. Oh, it must be so fun to be married to me. <laughs> All right, let's get him in here. All right, it's on, I left it on. Boom. Okay, David's here. He has not looked at my list yet, I right? Have not. No, I haven't. Okay, David, I've already told everybody about you, basically. <laughs> and your only shortcoming <laughs> is that you I break love things. this video. This is my <laughs> favorite video you ever you made. You break things. It's, it's insufferable. <laughs> I think the goal of this is for you to- Yeah, what to... is the goal of this? <laughs> what, what is the goal of this? That's the problem, I don't know. <laughs> the goal of this is to read this list to you and for you to tell me if there's anything, because I can't remember all the things that you've broken. I think it might feel cathartic to you to, to, to address them in a, in a <laughs> safe, address them. safe space. Okay. Um, so I'll start. Things David has broken. Number one, the blue Kinto mug from our registry. We, we had major. two of those. I broke one, right? You broke yeah, one. Okay, right. We still have yeah. one. I should show it to you guys. Yeah. Second thing. You broke our Chemex, our first Chemex? I broke the Chemex. I've broken two Chemexes, actually. The first Chemex I broke. This was the point of this. Technically, I've broken one Chemex. I chipped the bone and then right. I smashed the Chemex. <laughs> Number yeah. three, an Oleo plate, also from our registry. Okay. Like the white plates, remember? I don't remember that. And then we got a free pack of another pair. <laughs> oh, I do, yeah, okay, right. Number four, the blue floral plate from Peace and Riot. So, so, go ahead, please. That one was particularly hard for me because it feels really sentimental. I had so little money as a student, even though thank you dad for helping me during that time. I really appreciate it. But I didn't have very much and one day I bought this blue plate and I had this floral design on it. It just made me so happy and it reminded really, me- Really, really twisting the knife here. <laughs> in my defense, all the dishes were broken in the process of doing the dishes. I just can't handle soap and Glass. Like if you put the two together, I'm gonna break it. David does do most of the dishes. This is this is great because I feel like I feel like this is a conversation we've needed to have. Like me <laughs> me sharing my side of the story. <laughs> I see most things as tools, and so when they break, it's just a broken tool, and you just get get the new tool. Mm -hmm. But everything's yeah. replaceable. We're just different. <laughs> okay, number five, the little bowl that Shireen left me when she moved out. That was this recent, is my that was just a couple days ago. Best yeah. friend, no, no, there were two of those bowls. <laughs> number six I is- I don't remember this Number the first six one. is wow. the other little bowl Shireen left me. Or did I break that in 418 or was that here? Yeah, breaking things, yeah. it spanned <laughs> apartments, spanned years. <laughs> spanned countries. <laughs> number seven was also like as sad for me. The cup from Saragina. I bought this beautiful oh, right, right. cup from a bakery near our house. It had like this decoration. In the glass, yeah, yeah. like like the, the glass was like bumpy in certain places yeah. and like had like frills on yeah, the top. I, I was sad about this one, this because that was irreplaceable. I see. I've got, every single time we've gone back there, I haven't been able to to find. Do you look? I look every single time. That's very cute. 
That was very sweet. I, we had two of those. He broke one of them a while ago, and then I broke one. The other you broke day. the other one? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Is there anything else you would add to this list? I can't think of anything Things else. To add. Um, I chipped a glass that you got from Scotland a couple weeks ago on maybe the second or third day we had it. That was really sad. How was that experience for you? Chipping it? No. <laughs> Reading through your oh, right. mishaps. Um, I feel like there's, I feel like there's more. This is heavily kitchen skewed. Well, I introduced this to everybody as like. It's like an expose. <laughs> no, I I was saying that you know there's that awful marriage advice that people give that's like don't try and change your partner. <laughs> and that I like I I said that it was it was silly. I, I was joking, obviously. Yeah. I said, like, on the whole, of course, like, I love David. That's there's, why there's a grain of truth in every joke, isn't there? But that you should help your partner grow. And I could help you grow in this area. <laughs> yes. Prune, prune okay. the weed that I am into to help a, a me, strong flower. To keep me humble, what's something you could help me grow in? Well, actually, one way you have grown is that you used to you used to get really, really, really angry when these things broke. Oh, okay. yes. Like, the first few I, things on this list, when they broke... They were major was, fights. The first few was like, I would break it, I would apologize, and then you'd be like, yeah, that meant a lot to me. And I'm like, I'm really sorry. And you're like, I can't believe you did that when it meant so much. And I'm like, I told you, I'm really sorry. This is hurting even more. Something and she doesn't, you don't do that anymore. Like, I think once I got to, like, express why I do that, it was helpful. I just want to relish the, like, when you apologize, I I feel so good and I want... It's, it's the smallest <laughs> amount of power I've ever seen you go <laughs> I want to relish it. So I have to say it again, like, well, but it really made me feel this way because yeah. I know he's going to apologize yeah. again. But David, it doesn't work. Thankfully, David has helped me grow because... <laughs> When I do that, he immediately stops. I stop apologizing, yeah. That's, like, I know to just apologize again and just not touch it, <laughs> but there haven't been many opportunities for me to do that because you don't do that as much anymore. Oh, we're so good at being married. I'm, I'm very proud of you, Sophie. We're good married people. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. This was really fun for me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like your stories are all the same. Like, I was watching dishes. They basically are, are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> this is a boring Scrap video! This video. This is <laughs> okay, here's the thing. This is like our third week in quarantine. So even the most mundane stories of me breaking dishes, like this is our universe. This is like, <laughs> this is the world that we're in. And every plate is like losing a friend. Okay, that's and it's a wrap. Yeah.